You're watching the Intel Network and Edge V Summit series with our focus today on cloud native NFV. The telecoms industry is rapidly transforming with the advent of 5G and IoT applications. Network builders and solution providers need to create an infrastructure solution which is cost effective, easy to deploy and scales effectively. Dell Technologies provides solutions for telecoms networks from cloud to core to edge and Intel's products and technologies are helping drive this ongoing transformation. Joining me now to discuss the challenges of the industry and how this partnership is helping are Eric Vallone, Director Product Management Service Provider Solutions at Dell, and Brian Ahern, Director Communications Infrastructure and General Manager at Intel. Hello Eric and Brian, good to see you both. Uh, great to see you guys. Good to see you guys. Back in 2012, Etsy established its NFE Industry Specifications Group, which was charged with developing the requirements and architecture for the virtualization of various network functions. Brian, how did Intel get involved and what have you contributed? Well, um, Intel's had a, a, you know, a strong product portfolio in, in networking for a long time. And, and back in 2012, we had, a, we had a frontline seat um, as to what was happening in the industry. And I mean, those seven telecommunications operators came together and they, they outlined that uh, quite crisply in, in what they wanted to see and their network evolve towards. And it involved, you know, more flexible, dynamic uh, network, a network that they really wanted to apply cloud-like technologies and scale pace of innovation and rolling out services faster. So we had a front row seat to that uh, evolution and um, or that desire. And, and we set about uh, working with uh, those customers, our direct customers like Dell and, and partnering on that journey, building that infrastructure to you know, realize this, this new world. And at the heart of that was this concept of a multi-vendor infrastructure the ability for operators to choose best in class at, 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 across that solutions portfolio. And uh, of course, it starts with the underlying hardware and building these layers of software on top. So our role in, in that has been clearly to you know, work with our vendors um, uh, in building that uh, complex and, and high speed uh, capable infrastructure, at, but also working across the portfolio right the way up the solution stack um, with the standards bodies and the communities in, you know, fleshing out and, and bringing that desire as stated in that it's the NFE document and making it a reality over the last few years. Well, Eric, let me ask you the same question. What has Dell's involvement in NFE been and how have you contributed to the industry? Sure. Thanks, Guy. Um, I completely agree with Brian there. Um, 2012 was definitely a watershed moment for this industry. It was, it was clearly a turning point. It's not that anything happened overnight. It didn't. But that is where it all began. Uh, eight years in, we have made great progress as an industry. We've worked really, really hard to virtualize the core. This has allowed the industry to move away from proprietary and closed systems, i.e. to avoid that vendor lock-in that uh, Brian was talking about, and to be able to you know, drive towards open and standard-based platforms. Uh, this gave us the ability to, to move faster with greater flexibility and to do so a lot more cost effectively and to be able to just, you know, in the end, deliver new services that we hadn't thought possible before. As leaders in the open infrastructure space, Dell was front and center to driving the adoption of NFE across the telco infrastructure. We've been major contributors to open source communities that have enabled migration. Um, you know, such, you know, look at our contributions that we've done with OpenStack and our recent contributions to the Airship community that we've done alongside with AT&T, Intel, and our other partners. In addition to op offering open hardware platforms uh, as a foundational element to NFV, we've also delivered full stack architectures with OpenStack as well as with VMware. This has enabled uh, telco-specific workloads to be uh, deployed, again, effectively and efficiently. 
Uh, so it's been a great journey, but reality is we're just getting started and I'm excited for, you know, what's coming next. So Eric, you know, what are your telecoms customers asking for here today? Can you summarize Dell's solution portfolio and also your partnership with Intel? Sure, absolutely. So first and foremost, um, our customers are looking for open everything, you know, as I was just saying moments ago, you know, because of the benefits that you get with openness. Openness doesn't always mean open source, but it certainly um, it does allow us to eliminate that vendor lock in and again, give us that flexibility and agility. Um, but at the same time, they're looking for a trusted partner one that's going to listen to their needs and work with them to build out the right architectures. Uh, partnering with Intel and Dell has allowed us to deliver a portfolio of um, compute and networking and storage platforms that are opening, that, that are open and that truly meet those needs. They're a starting point for the conversations. You know, with that, we've de designed solutions that bring these platforms together with, uh, you know, the necessary virtualization layers with the network and infrastructure workloads and the orchestration systems to ensure quick time to market, which is why we're here to begin with. Uh, as an example, we recently launched our latest edge server with, you know, we partnered with Intel on our um, XE2420. Uh, this can be paired with our new nano micro modular data centers, the MDC 15, and they brought together with enhancements to our iDRAC feature set uh, that really make these large scale deployments uh, a lot easier, um, especially in the very diverse telco deployments. You know, we couldn't have done that without our partners. And Brian, tell us more about Intel's NFE portfolio and how you're partnering with Dell. So, uh, yes, indeed. So if you think about, um, you know, the Intel portfolio and, 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 and keying off the, that, that distributed nature of the network, um, think about the, the solutions that you need at the, in the core, moving out towards the edge and, and on-prem, the Intel product portfolio from Xeon to Xeon D and, and Atom entry line, it, it mirrors that um, need for a scalable portfolio that goes from from that edge to the core. Um, the other um, part of our portfolio you know, is about that scalability from top to bottom. You know, working um, across the, the solution stack and enabling our, our products and technologies all the way up through that, that multi-vendor infrastructure. So whether it's um, you know, built on, on a Xeon product line with our Ethernet portfolio or our FPGA portfolio, that capability spans the breadth and diversity of the different locations in the network, and it spans the uh, depth of the various software portfolios that will run on top. And a major part of, of our collaboration with Dell, not just on the, on the underlying hardware, but in delivery of the full solution and partnering with other vendors that sit and run their network functions right on top of that scalable, flexible um, infrastructure. Thanks, Brian. Uh, Eric, looking ahead, how will the evolution of edge and the adoption of cloud native development principles further fuel more disruption in the industry? That's a great question, Guy. Uh, you know, first and foremost, we've come a long way. We've built the technology to virtualize the core. It was a pretty painful journey, um, but a significant part of that core is now virtualized. Uh, Making sure that we have the right ecosystem, making sure that we have the right management tools, making sure that we have the right platforms is really critical. You know, we have Dell have built the technology to virtualize that core, but truly that edge is the new frontier. We know that VNFs won't cut it, you know, especially those legacy VNFs that were just, you know, rewritten or just migrated from proprietary equipment. We know that we need to move to a cloud native environment to be successful at the edge. So with the core being work, um, working, and as I said, the edge being the new frontier, um, the edge creates some complexities for us to deal with. The edge is a much more diverse and much more distributed and, and it has much greater scale in terms of breadth. 
But at the same time, it has, you know, a smaller scale in terms of per location. And how is Dell responding to these industry challenges? You know, we continue to build the right platforms for these changes, these evolutions that we're seeing in the industry. You know, and specifically, we're building the right products for the edge because, you know, that's a place where it's not a one size fits all type of environment. Uh, we've recently launched our XE24 platform that is really specifically designed for the edge. Uh, at the same time, we're integrating the right accelerators for the use case, i.e. The, the accelerators need to be specific for uh, specific use cases, such as when do we use smart NICs and when do we use ASICs and when do we use GPUs. As the accelerators that you need for VRAN may be different than what you use for an AI or an ML type of application or what you use for a virtualized CDN. At the same time, what we're doing is we're bringing automation tools to speed deployment and telemetry tools to ensure network reliability. Uh, as we enter this new frontier, we're doubling down with our ecosystem of partners, working very closely with um, you know, AT&T and working very closely with Intel uh, as well as uh, VMware and many others to make sure that we build the right solutions that meets the needs of these use cases as, a, as opposed to doing or taking a lowest common denominator approach. Thanks, Eric. And Brian, um, how far have we really come? You know, what's working well at the moment and what do we need to focus more on as an industry? So what's working well? Well, I, I think the first thing to be to be said about that is the vast majority of you know infrastructure deployments right now um, are virtualized, and the vast majority of the five G deployments in the core and some of the distributed deployments um, are on things like next generation central office. A significant amount of those are are running on this this multi vendor based on industry standard hardware. So that's working great uh, and it's come a long way. The, where we need to go to is automating that whole infrastructure a lot more. There's still a lot of uh, complexity involved in building this multi-vendor infrastructure. And it's only going to get more complicated when you bring in the, the evolution towards the edge that I already talked about. So. Um, where I'm seeing this, um, this, the challenge ahead facing us is around the automation of all of this uh, multi-vendor infrastructure and the path to cloud native and the additional complexity, um, the demand to have a more efficient uh, compute infrastructure, really digging into what's um, uh, extracting the maximum performance you can from, from your, your product line at a particular location in the network, uh, taking into account energy considerations, uh, smarter networking, um, all of these elements now become uh, part of this challenge ahead, uh, a, a more fully automated infrastructure uh, that allows us to really unlock that, that uh, promise of flexibility, scale, and, and just really rapid uh, innovation and deployment life cycles. Well, Brian and Eric, thank you both very much indeed for joining us today. And don't forget, you can watch more interviews and discussions on Cloud Native NFV right here as part of the Intel Network and Edge V Summit series. But for now, thank you for watching and goodbye.